Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode two of High Risk, High Reward. I am your host today with a fucked throat, to be entirely honest with you. I'm Marlo, joined as always by my two co-hosts. Cam, how are you doing, buddy? I'm depressed. We'll get into that later. I'm actually more curious. What's wrong with your throat? What have you been doing? It's, uh, sometimes it just, <clears throat> sometimes it just gets a little, a little too deep, a little too, uh, full of fluid. You know what I'm saying? Plo. Dicks in deep. I mean, pucks being deep. I mean, pucks, dicks in deep. I don't know what's going on with my face right now. I don't know if you guys have yeah, seen this. Fuck? I am freaking the fuck out. <laughs> oh my <laughs> God. Plo, how are you doing, buddy? Not too bad. Not too bad. Having a decent week. So that's what it's all about. Just, hey. uh, me and Paul are ahead of you. You're oh, no, I can't. Fucking... Marlo looks like he's getting ready for his wedding next or, uh, tomorrow and Marlo's Saturday or whatever. He's crazy dance moves right now. <laughs> straight throwing fucking My karate Lord. chops. Straight he's... throwing karate chops trying to figure out what's <laughs> happening right now. He's filming Hold on up. an Atari. Hold up. This is a nice up. camera that I have, too. I literally spent extra. Literally just have this nice camera. And we're episode two and everything's broken. I think I'm going to have um, a seizure. Looks like a potato uh, filming you. What is happening? Here we go. Hold on. We're going to get this fixed live as the show is progressing. We this can is chop an interesting around development. This. I never saw this coming. This was not in the script, by the way. All right. All right. All right. And, oh, and he's gone. <laughs> oh, no. Tech issues. What? You guys probably don't want to listen to his uh, gambling advice anyways. There we yeah, go. Yeah, that's, that's a, a good point. Dude, we uh, might have to run it this whole way and just see if anybody gets sick from watching it. Hey, <laughs> I think I'm back. No, All just right, don't make any fast now. movements. <laughs> Anyways, we need to let's bring up the elephant. Speaking of things that are like kind of kind of fucked right now, Plo, I kind of ruined your intro uh, by, all good. by jumping all around here. But what the hell are you eating? We are recording and you're being the most <laughs> unprofessional motherfucker I've ever seen in my life. Uh, we've got a little chicken and rice uh, homemade by yours truly. No, you um, know. Question: A guy that is up as many units as you are, why the fuck is your drawer filled with nothing but Dairy Queen spoons? <laughs> no, it's not a Dairy Queen spoon. Bullshit. Um, no one in the, the entire hold on, hold on, no, 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 no. Nobody <sighs> in the entire existence of humanity, I'm freaking out again, has ever just had a red spoon in their drawer. Yeah, Nobody. that's that's not a toddler. Thing. I don't like doing the like dishes. So there's a lot of there's a lot of plastic silverware in this household. But unless don't we have you already puppy. have to do the dishes with the bowl that you're using. Cam, it's enough for me. Dude, Marlo literally looks like he's playing <laughs> Dance Dance Revolution right now. I don't know. I uh, I I literally just disconnected my camera. We're gonna see. I don't know. Let's just continue. Oh. I mean, the video is gonna on. be funny as shit. Cut this up. <laughs> put it out there. Jesus Tag Christ! Him. Oh my fucking god! Oh, uh, what's going on? The Rockies fucking suck, dude. All right, let's. Uh, that seems like a good progression here. Like typically, we do a grievances bit, but so far everything has sucked. Unless your name is Plo, uh, and you're yeah. eating out of a red Dairy Queen spoon. Let's break it down. What do you got going on there, Cam? So it goes back to the wheel bit last week. I uh, got purple on my wheel bit, and well, the only team that was playing that was purple would be the Rockies. Took the money line. That hit. But when I actually think they're gonna win, they fucking don't. Me and Plo were at the Twins game on Monday. And I was sitting there watching the scoreboard. They were playing the goddamn Pirates, and they're horrible. <laughs> Dog shit team. Yep. And they lose two to one. And now tonight, I parlayed them with the Yankees money line because the Rockies are facing the Nationals. Patrick Corbin's pitching 0 7, 7.79 ERA. The Rockies find themselves down 7 to 3 in the bottom of the eighth. Damn. So, damn, damn, fuck damn, the Rockies. Damn. damn. I get what you're trying to do. You're trying to pick out a team playing a bad team. And you're Rockies trying to ride that, too. but the Rockies are a bad team too. I agree, but bro, Patrick Corbin is awful. I made that same mistake oh, earlier year. <laughs> when I was fading the Cincinnati Reds. Like that was a oh. big thing. I think I brought up last episode that I the literally the one time I say, "Hey, let's let's ride the anti anti Reds train." They started playing the Pirates, and everything got fucked from there. No, so you know what, Plo, fuck you. Your nice. your your theory is wrong because yesterday. Fuck the Nationals, too, because I tailed you. I took the Dodgers' money line against the Nationals in a parlay. The best team in the league, probably, against the Nationals, and they lost. So, cool. You know what? Uh, yeah, I didn't have a great day yesterday, but we're still plus uh, the theory, the two-team MLB theory um, parlay is still yeah. up unit yeah. this week, and it's been up units the last few weeks. So Yeah, good for um, you. Buy some silverware. 
<laughs> <laughs> Good start there. You know where to spend your money. I have to fucking scream at Boss Man for a second here. Uh, I just love to sewer him all these episodes because he doesn't tune in. He doesn't listen. He's not going to watch this. So I can sewer him all day. And unless you you add him at Twitter, he's not gonna he's not gonna know what's happening. But this <laughs> son of a bitch gave me golf picks and they were the most dog shit fucking golf picks literally so i don't know if you guys have seen uh anybody that's like watching this has seen like our leaderboard when it comes to like we we, we separated by units and daddy here me uh was sitting in uh the fourth spot after after week a few days we, like week one few days right i dropped all the way down to the last place i was i was even units um and then i dropped all the way down to 10 units and uh, I also need to call something out too. Who put out that bullshit tweet that's like Marla will at you if you fuck up his parlay? I need to know who said I that. I didn't because they're right. Uh, <laughs> and I will fucking call you out. Um, so, boss man, you piece of shit. I hate you. Uh, I've also <laughs> added a few. <laughs> I also have a few like I don't. I don't even know, man. There's so many things I hate. John Cooper, I hate. Um, this uh, is uh... a. Not trying to cut you off, but this is the part okay. where you're making fun of Boss Man, and uh, you put a disclaimer in the very fast words saying, oh, thank you so much for the opportunity with this company. I do really appreciate you, and I meant none of that. I'm coming up with my one year. I don't mean any of that. Don't you put that in camp. <laughs> I want it. If you put that in there, it, put this part in where I'm telling you to get that shit out of here. I, I, <laughs> I had weird. one year of pain and turmoil. I want to get to, to kind of tell you, uh, the, another person that I hate, uh, Cam, you fucking made my list as well, too, by the way. We have, of course... I can, of course we have our teams chat right and uh we're talking about the twins and cam goes i feel a big night coming on for mr byron buxton oh. and that son of a bitch hasn't hit a ball in <laughs> what 50 60 some odd bats at this point it's not okay did you bet something on him yeah yeah well that's lost one problem. and a half bases is what I'm i did cold as ice right now. he's gonna hit bombs so i'm like yeah okay let's do one and a half bases and i parlayed it with a hockey pick that hit obviously because i'm a hockey iq genius uh but i follow i tailed your fucking buxton call and uh it hit me like a swift dick punch you know what i think we're even because you fucked me on panarin so that's true. And then What's I think it was rebuttal? Zooch. <laughs> Zooch shot a message out. He tailed my Ryan O'Reilly pick. That's his fault for taking, like, listening to the last place person in the entire world. <laughs> like, what are yeah. you doing? If you're riding somebody cold because of what I said, I just like Ryan O'Reilly a lot. It's like trusting a skinny chef. Yeah. That <laughs> shit. That's great. Yeah. Well, if we're getting, uh, if we're airing stuff out, I'd like to specifically call out Garrett Cole right now. That spider oh. tech merchant just effed me this week. <laughs> you give up five earned runs to the Orioles. The Baltimore Orioles and you give up five earned runs. We were you little weasel. We were sitting we, next to each other at that game when that happened. And God. I was actually I had the over in that game, but I'm like, dude, there's no way Garrett Cole should be getting blended up by the Orioles. Yeah, nice. So bad. Oh, and what I was going to say, too, in regards to the whole like Byron Buxton thing as well, too. We have been trying to launch a Byron Buxton shirt forever. <laughs> and we keep saying, let's wait till he hits another. Let's wait till he hits another home run. Let's wait till he hits <laughs> another home run. Can you guess how many days we've been saying? Just wait till he hits another home run. At this point, I'll take a hit. If we get a hit, we might have to launch this shirt. But we've been saying you know, on the design for weeks. <laughs> the good thing is, though, is that Byron is built different to where everyone has slumps. At least we know he's going to get out of it. At least there's like. We know we'll eventually be able to get that shirt out. Really? Yeah, June first hits the calendar. He's gonna. It's gonna yeah. be a, just a to fourteen home run month for him. Yeah, I mean, baseball's under, weird, dude. You're underestimating the Minnesota factor. This could go on for a very long time, just because no. that's who we are. He could be the new Vikings kicker bit, where it just doesn't happen. No. Like no matter how Byron's many times we try, bro. I don't know. I don't know. Miguel Sano. People thought he was different as well too. Lots his batting no percentage. One, Miguel Sano no like one, point no oh one ever thought that Miguel Sano was as close to what people think Byron Buxton is. You That's could, a preposterous statement. You could drink one beer and you'd have a better batting percentage than uh, than what Miguel Sano has. Yeah, he's awful. It's Thank God he's on the IL. Crazy. You take one Michelob Golden Light. You're much. It's higher. It's higher. But no, I'm not saying. To be fair, I'm not saying that Miguel Sano or. Buxton is going to be snow, but what I'm saying is Minnesota has its ways. And this is where I like having you on camp because you're a young kid. Plo, actually, I don't even know how old you are. We're uh, 20, 25. <laughs> oh, my yeah, God. You, <laughs> we had to think about it for a second. <laughs> you two young fuckers, you guys don't quite understand how much pain and suffering old people like me have gone through. This sure. is the Minnesota thing. Bad things are bound to happen all the time. And we're you know, due here. 
we get but something Marlo. a little sweet, it's going to be a Kaprizov injury, or it's going to be a uh, something's going to go terribly wrong with Buxton, like it already kind of has started to. But Marlo, oh. I wrote a blog on this. All of this bad, horrible stuff will make the final, like once obviously the goal is the championship, will make it so much better. Yes. I may die if it happens. I'm going to be entirely honest. Oh, I've had nothing but I, misery. The state will shut down. The entire. <laughs> I, speaking of misery, though, I do have to bring up. I think going forward, because of my like bad luck, I may only do wheel based picks, wheel and time based picks, because the <laughs> only wins I had were wheel picks, which is just Dude, insane. That wheel is legit. It is. Legit. We all did good. And unfortunately, we got yeah. bad news. People were not bringing it back this week. We're doing something slightly different as well, too. It will come back into the rotation, especially because we went we went uh, uh, <laughs> seven of nine. Just yeah. bonkers. And so the one thing we're talking about, like bad luck and whatnot as well, too, in order for me to get back on track, like I said, outside of wheelbase stuff, I'm doing what any smart uh, sports better would do. Not a degenerate move or anything like that. Today, I have all of my money on numerous numerous parlays all of my money because the only way you get down for being 10 units is by hammering 10 more units yeah <laughs> plus signs baby plus and, signs and the worst part is i'm picking shit that i don't even know about i have three basketball picks i have three yeah and i have a hockey pick tonight you can tell we're both down bad <laughs> it's we're we're digging hard i mean i the only bad thing is epl season's over otherwise i might just i would have just kept hammering soccer picks Go Newcastle. Shout out Newcastle. Scumbag. I, I I am a soccer fan. They are a scumbag fan base, scumbag club. Uh, I do hate their guts, but uh, I, I next year, EPL, it's going to be a, a, a big It's gonna be a big thing for me next year. I feel it. I'm feeling it. I went 0 for 2 again tonight. The fucking Rangers Hurricanes over is not going to hit either. God. That's, that's painful. Do we? Why well, am I, mean, I on this podcast? I suck. Yeah. It, I mean, it, the where we we do the high risk stuff, we just don't. The high reward is what's missing. That's why we have Blow because he's the credible one here of all of us. Two team MLB heavy favorite parlays. Yeah, Hammer. I that once yesterday. How'd it work? It's a five day. You got to do it at least five days a week. You'll win at least three of them. You'll go three and two, and they're all plus money. It's, it's not sliding into ketosis. Why does he have to do it for five fucking days? <laughs> like, it's why the, is there a, a, a you have because, to keep? Schedule. Well, because you could what you could lose what you're gonna win three. You gotta go three and two, three and two in your plus money. Yeah, what like one unit? That if if that's the minimum, yeah. But I how mean, how many I'm units reach, are you putting on a parlay? Depends how confident I am. I'm not, I, sometimes I like, three, I, sometimes four, sometimes one. But I don't even like putting one unit on anything right now. So. Mm-hmm. I was wearing this about this is about fucking winning shirt, one of the best shirts that we've ever made, ever sold. I don't even know where my camera is, so I can't even show it off here. But uh Justin Hook, I'm literally doing everything to try to flip this around. And I'm running out of ideas. Um I, I will, if anybody wants to at me and be like, hey, change something. Um I god fuck, I don't know. Like I even went against Steph Curry tonight. I went against I, I have I think I have a few golden state picks tonight. I don't even want to I'm so scared to bring them up. Just because I know what's going to happen is I'm going to wake up tomorrow. People will see this and then they'll be like, Marla, you're a fucking idiot again. Then I'm just going to be depressed <laughs> again. And I got to, I'm the one who makes the graphics. So I got to put up a new leaderboard that says I'm down <laughs> 17, 20 units. Um, you know what I think I'm going to do? I have a, I have a strategy going forward. I think if this week, if these, none of these bets hit and everything goes poorly for me, I am only going to start by betting like future picks. So that way, when they hit or if they miss, no one can shame me because no one will remember it. I won't remember it. It'll just be lost money. Yeah. I already wasted as it is. Um, and then, yeah, I, I won't feel bad about myself anymore. I think the depression just slips away, right? It's boring, though, because then, like, any, like, random night you want to, like, watch some grease, you don't have any money on it. You just – there's nothing to do. I still think I would like to feel better about myself. <laughs> I, I I can't lie to you. I think I would still like to feel that's not true. I do love the high of it, like as well, too. But if you guys are ever like in my house, you will see me at the lowest of my lows when I'm going nowhere near. When Ryan O'Reilly 
puts up zero shots when I constantly, constantly bet the over on that son of a bitch. Uh, I, I love him. But like I said, we were talking about this a little bit before. We're kind of going away from the color wheel today, and we're actually going to pull him up with a good idea. He's going to kind of throw it at us. Uh, we've done no research into this whatsoever. Just a great idea. Uh, I still can't believe you're using that Dairy Queen spoon. But we're going <laughs> to we'll end up diving yeah. into this. Uh, diving into this uh, and have Plo break it down here. But first, let me tell you about one of the best partners that we have. We're talking about Better Edge. Ladies and gentlemen, for brand new users, this scumbag making all that noise, moving his chair when I'm in the middle of my ad read. It's disgusting. Uh, but, but, but Better Edge, all new users, you use code 10K, you get yourself $20 off. Or $20. Holy shit. Let me start that over. Fuck me. Hold on. Pause. He has a fucking blue spoon now. Yeah. Shut the hell up. Is that a Culver's spoon? You have a spoon. (laughs) You just have a drawer of Dairy Queen and Culver's spoons? And you're you're cruising second on the leaderboard? I have kids to support. Come on. You can't feed me picks. So bad. I I feed you guys picks every day. I hate you. Well, and Cam takes them, and they they lose. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta yeah, maybe we'll be more quiet now. You're a you're a you're a pyramid scheme artist. That's what you are. Anyways, Culver spoons, Dairy Queen spoons, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> better edge today. Use code ten k. Get yourself twenty dollars into your account. You can fade us. We suck. Fade us. You can spend that money. You can ride that off into the sunset. Better edge. Fade code ten k. 20 bucks. All right, diving into our next little segment here after just shredding, tearing into Plo for his fucking insane spoon situation. (laughs) We're going to dive into our next little bit here, a draft of sorts. Plo, you want to break it down for us real quick, buddy? Yes, sir. We got land, air, and sea. So we're going to do a snake draft. Three picks each per person. You got to pick a team that's mascot or team name that is land. So an Animal, some sort of on land, something that has to do with land. An air, so my, a bird most likely. And a sea, so a water animal or mascot or water of any oh, sort. Yeah. Sorts. So you got to hit each of those three. Um, we'll do a snake draft. Each person needs to hit each one. All right. Sounds beautiful. Good. That sounds like a good plan here. So the key thing with this as well, too. Uh, none of us have done research. That's what's going to make this fun. We're going to head on to our Better Edge app right now. We're going to find ourselves the picks. We're going to run in whatever order we'd like. Snake draft style, 30 seconds per pick. And I think we'll run now. Let's run youngest to oldest, do you think? How does you think that's a good call? Can me you? I'm okay with it. I'm first. Beautiful. Yeah, you can edit. I did this again. I fucked myself. Cannot pick the same thing uh, as, as your fellow people, obviously, in draft style. I will skip the the timer going for you. So, 30... real quick, am I picking one C right or like all three of them right now? No, no draft. Have you never seen a draft before, Cam? Snake draft. <laughs> so, but we each have to have one of each, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. Oh, and Marlo, what? you're about to get a cap. Marlo, there. you're about to get cap. There's a Listen. nerf gun behind you. <laughs> Listen, I live in constant fear for my <laughs> life. But I, I, what a dumb question, Cam. Wait, well, how, does, how do we draft? How does any draft but he draft ever? Yeah, we might have like, to talk do I, just, do I just get to pick my entire fantasy team right now and then you yep. pick your entire fantasy team right now? <laughs> Sorry, Daddy. Fucking crazy. You're gonna and you're the editor, you're gonna cut that out. What? I said you're the editor, you're probably gonna cut that section out. It can't be so I'll keep it in. I have no shame. <laughs> All right, let's dive in it. So I'm going to put 30 seconds in the clock. Uh, feel free to talk over your pick as well, too, and then we'll progress as we or we can so, jump to the next person. All right, we're going right. to C first. Ladies, here we go. Three. Oh, C first. You, you don't have Are to announce going? it. All right, anyways, go. 30 seconds. Three, two, one, go. 30 okay, seconds on the clock. This is a shit show already. Uh, go to the weekend series. Baseball is the only thing, again, just because there's more options. Fuck. Uh, what do we got? I made a little list. We got the Rays, the Marlins, the Mariners, the Pirates. Fuck the Pirates. Uh, where are the Rays? <laughs> They're playing the Yankees. No chance. Uh, Mariners, 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 where are the Mariners? The Mariners Uh-oh. against the Astros. I'll take the spread. Mariners against the Astros. Done. Mariners against the Astros. Just in time. So that's your C pick, I assume. Yes. Yeah. All right. Plus, sorry, I got somebody calling me this whole. 
stop. All right. That is your that is your C pick. Plo, we will dive into yours next here. All right. On the um, clock, 30 seconds on your market set. Go. All right. We are not going with a certain strategy. We're going to find a favorite matchup with the second overall pick. We're going to go Friday night, Alex Manoa on the mound versus the Angels. Blue Jays money line. Book it. Ooh. Beautiful. Beautiful. That's air, obviously. That was very, very quick. I like that. That was insane. All right. Someone has, let's set a timer for me here. 30 seconds. All right. No, fuck me. On your mark. Get set. Go. All right. So, like I said, I've done no research into this at all. And I think let me just look at this real quick. Um, 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 I think I'm going to go. We're going to go. We'll take this one for air. We're going to go Carolina Hurricanes on uh, Saturday. Uh, money line. We'll take that. Carolina okay. Hurricanes money line for air. All right. You have another pick. Oh, shit. Three, that's me. Two, one, go. Ladies and <laughs> gentlemen, I'm about to fuck this whole thing up. You ready? I'm going C this time. And I'm going Carolina Hurricanes spread. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. C and air in the same pick that's a bold move same team that's the one uh, in my head i was like i gotta take hurricanes for just about everything you can maybe even argue that's a little bit of land right there but i'm not gonna do that we're not True. gonna go you can't can't do overs can't do unders we're doing money line and spread carolina hurricanes we're gonna keep it as simple as we can be i think they're gonna i, I just want to see that scumbag piece of shit panarin lose so let's <laughs> go hurricanes True. True. all Fuck right panarin. Back on the clock here, Plo. Thirty seconds on your market set. Go. All right, we're gonna we got get land and sea here. We're running kind of low. We already have air. Don't like the Diamondbacks versus the Dodgers. I'm gonna say I hate animal picks for like land. Yeah. I feel I like you should be it. more creative, but there's not much. It's yeah. tough. Um, Eight, we're gonna go seven, Colorado seven, Rockies. The whoa, Mountains. Rockies. Money line versus the Nationals Friday night. Everyone losing. Fuck in the a, Rockies. A big, a big. <laughs> They're gonna win for me now that they lost all week for Cam. That's the thing is a big part of me really hopes it hits just to like <laughs> I want to see Cam spiral. I want to <sighs> see him go down bad. I also have you might see me react here because I have the uh, uh, a goal in the first eight minutes here for the Carolina Hurricanes Edmonton Oilers as we're filming right now. So you mean Calgary uh, Frames? Whatever. Flames. Wow, I fucked that. What up. did I say? Flames? You said Hurricanes versus Oilers. I got Canes on the brain. Anyways, <laughs> Cammer, you're gonna get some back-to-back picks here. On your mark, get set, go. All right. I already knew what I was doing with this first one. Right after Plo said he was taking Blue Jays over Angels. Angels are technically in the air. I will take Angels money line over the Blue Jays because fuck you, Plo. Ooh, okay, okay. All right, hey, come climb up the leaderboard so I can hear you. Oh, that's fun. This up. is how I climb up by fading you. Yeah, I'll say, I'll say, everybody's so cold right now. Cam's actually not too far away from me. <laughs> if we go by, if we're talking units wise, yeah, he's pretty far. If we're talking just leaderboard, yeah, hey, he's not too far away. Hell it's yeah. pretty bad out there. I mean, there's like two people that are at even units. Boss man's lying still. Uh, and yeah. nobody's done that investigative uh, reporting Jackster. that he's been asking for. Somebody get TMZ on this one. Yeah, the Jacksterisk. If he doesn't change his handle, <laughs> insane. King Jacksterisk. Um, anyways, 30 seconds on the clock. Cam, again, on your market set, go. Oh, God. I need land. I don't know what to do. I'm scared. Um, actually, this technically is land because it represents two cities. We're taking the hometown team, the Minnesota Twins money line over the Royals. Duh. Wait. That wait. is land. That is land. Two cities wait. are land, bro. I Come don't on. think. Mm, but that that's land. not what the team's about. You have 10 seconds. What you the have fuck? 10 seconds if you want to change it. Oh, but, but... the Cardinals are blue, right? We uh, agree. Yeah, literally, yes. I flipped. Uh, Yes. Well, shit. One All right, Philly, zero. Philly's money line. Hey, over no, no. Nope. Time, time. You stuck with the twins. Now you can keep the twins, but that's. I think that's a bullshit pick, Plo. Uh, I mean, you know, we can throw them a bone since guys down so bad, but I don't like Thank it. The, I don't like it. The show Tell me that I, Minneapolis and St. Paul aren't on land. 
that has nothing to do with that's it. what the twins stand for but minneapolis not, and st paul they're not twin called cities. the twin cities are they they're called the twins. But they're, they're called the twins what do the twins stand for not identical twins they i guarantee for, you that well i mean their logo by definition isn't it just mini and st paul the two twins yeah like i get the, it's not about mini the representation paul i know but it's not about the representation it's about what it actually is but, that's well, the wrong. Hold, on, hold on let's talk about the main logo the t intersecting with the c what does the t stand for twin cities that's what i thought I, am I am I taking crazy pills? Whoa! <laughs> Why are you so fucking quiet right now? <laughs> I'm playing devil's advocate. Am I in the wrong? No, I want to know. Am I in the wrong? I understand what you're saying. I do understand what Cam's saying. Cam's saying that the Twin Cities, the Twins represent the Twin Cities. That's why they're named the Twins. And he's representing the land and the cities that Minneapolis and St. Paul are on. Granted, it is... It's it's a pretty sketchy kind of. I think it was one of the. Okay. There's a lot of land picks left, and you understand. The twins, yeah, there's like, like hundreds of animals that you could have picked. For yeah. Land. And even then, I think it's a little soft, but I respect it. Marlo, but you what? are the twins more land than the Cardinals are blue. No. This is the in the most. I want you to do a bubble chart, like a one of those those little circle chart. graphs where it's just <laughs> it's, it's blue cardinals versus twins <laughs> on land. But I want you to just take like the JJ twins and just put them on like a, a spot of land and be like, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's, this is this, this is oh my fucking god, this is insane. It's insane. I I I understand what you're talking about, but the symbolism or symbolism isn't. That's like me going, uh, San Francisco Giants. They walk on land. Uh, they, <laughs> it's not a thing. It's not a real thing. It's not. And I yeah, don't know well, why people. I don't know why. Plo, I I was hoping <laughs> to like you, and you're just sitting here allowing twins. Well, well you know what? I know you flip flopped, but last week uh, I'm going to defend somebody with a quote-unquote sketchy pick because the Cardinals had blue and I was just on an island by myself having to defend myself. But Sorry I didn't have your back last week. Appreciate you got my You guys can make fun of me. You guys can make fun of me for the units that I'm down, but I am at least a man on the show with integrity. And (laughs) I took the the Hurricanes twice. That's that's a great pick. (laughs) It's land and or it's air and sea. I could take land on that one as well too because unlike uh, Twins, it they walk on land or they they wait hurricanes don't walk no. they tr- they can travel on land i'm not saying the twins walk on land the hurricanes me taking the hurricanes for land and sea is fucking genius compared to that don't you don't you i fucking hate this show i think <laughs> i don't want to do this anymore right, who's back canceled. on the clock so it's, it's you yeah what do i have i have air and Who gives land a shit just see. shut up all right 30 <laughs> seconds you take your pick go Fucking Christ. Unbelievable. All right, we want to see. I'm looking at Marlins, but we want a pitching matchup, a specific pitching matchup. Ooh, you we do here. not. They're, yeah, they're playing the Braves. What's my clock at? I uh, can't tell you. Oh, nice. Just get 10 seconds. Oh, shit. <laughs> All right, we're going to go Marlins Saturday night versus the Braves plus one and a half. Oh, okay. That's good. I like that. Because, Cam, you, like that. you took Friday? I didn't take. I didn't touch that game. All my oh, games thought, are Saturday. You took Mariners. Mariners. I'm sorry. Tomatoes. Tomatoes. Yeah. Same thing. They're all. Saturday. Is there any controversy with the uh, the Marlins being in the sea or like? <laughs> Don't no, you not at all. get me going. <laughs> this is you. I I can't tell if you're trying to fire me up or if it's actually bullshit that you're like. I don't know what you're trying to do, Plo, but it sucks. <laughs> it's on top of that too. I am a minute forty away from losing this bet. Yeah. Or you can say you're less than a minute forty away from winning that bet. Yeah, I pair no, I I no, I we just we already talked about this. I am a minute and forty away from losing this bet, and I paired it with a Steph Curry points under. So we'll, uh let's see what happens here. Um, but I'm not feeling too good. Anyways, my pick. I don't need, to be fair, I don't even know what I've left. I've land. Hmm. No, you have don't Yeah, have, he has land. Yeah, I got land left. I got land left. No, hurricanes were air and sea. Oh, okay. I thought you said they were land and sea. That's what you said earlier. That was your I said argument. I, you I said I can. Argument. I can take that. I'm going to take the blues because uh, colors exist on land. That's a joke. <laughs> oh, okay. Just like you're. Take the hurricanes thing. again. I Let me know when you want to put me on the clock. Am I on the clock? Uh, 15 seconds left. 
Shut the fuck. <laughs> What's that? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right. Um, am I? On? I'm sorry. Am I on? Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. We're gonna take uh for land. We're actually going hockey again. I'm feeling confident in this one. Colorado Avalanche. Uh, the money line's only one fifty nine. Um, we're taking the spread plus one forty six. Uh, one and a half. Boom. Minus? Colorado Avalanche. Plus 146 at uh, minus one and a half. Yep. That is definitely land. No rebuttal. Nope. As there shouldn't be. It, there shouldn't be. <laughs> you just like natural disasters, it looks like. <laughs> Big. <laughs> yeah, I want yeah. I want the world to feel what I feel uh, <laughs> after after I wake up in the morning and, know, and see where my numbers are at. Uh, I... This has been a really depressing episode. This has been a very loud episode and for a guy whose throat hurts i didn't expect to yell this much but <laughs> cam fuck you tyler uh, duffy freaking sucks yeah i was gonna say that when i was betting the twins it's fucking awful we're losing now twins are land by the way oh this bucks didn't have a hit yet one inning four hits three earned runs jeez oh. <laughs> not boxing right oh maybe don't pitch that guy in a two-run game <laughs> Rocco. Rocco would do. There you go. Hey, there's your uh, twins as land because their managers rock. Yeah. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I hate this. I I'm effectively canceling this show. There better be a poll right now. Can twins count as land for this shit? Because and I I'll hope we. No and that I, poll. We talked about bringing back a reoccur- or like doing reoccurring bits and whatnot. This is one that I'm not fucking bringing back. Even if I go <laughs> three three and zero oh again and fucking stomp you clowns, uh, I don't want to bring it back. I'm out. <laughs> I, I don't want to do this shit. So, anyways, Skull Canes, Skull Avalanche, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning into another episode of High Risk, High Reward. We appreciate you. We love you. Uh, Cam, you suck. Plo, you suck. Thanks, boys. Stay hot, game a lot. <laughs> Ooh, see ya. <laughs>